The pressure is on, and opening game nerves can often take hold. Match day one for these two nations here at the 2024 UEFA European Championship. Who will be first to make their mark on the group? The action is live. Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain especially about the weather. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And today, it's the opening game in this particular group at the Euros. It's Serbia against England. Well, you have to be consistent in these group games. You can't afford to have an off day, otherwise you're out the running before you know it. Anticipating a really good game, though, Derek. Hope we're not disappointed. And the Serbia starting 11. Well, in this formation, it's the full-backs who have to get forward to provide the width because the midfield and front players stay very narrow. But it should allow them to control the middle of the park where they are dominant. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford is the keeper. Kieran Trippier starts with Kyle Walker as full-backs. Bukayo Saka plays with Phil Foden out wide. And the main striker today is Harry Kane. Well, Jude Bellingham has become one of the finest all-around midfield players in world football. That's no exaggeration. What do you expect to see from him today? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. In and around the box, his creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Zivkovic and Mitrovic. Ilic. Strahilia Pavlovic. Kostic has it. Dusan Tadic. Well, a good tackle. Declan Rice. Now Harry Kane. Foden. Kane. On to Alexander Arnold. They keep plugging away. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Kostic. Pressure applied. Nikola Milenkovic. Zivkovic. Tadic has it. Well, they have it again. So the whistle then, we're up the halfway stage in this match. Just hasn't been able to get going at all, has he, Jude Bellingham? We know he's capable of so much better. Well, he's such a clever player in and around the box, but he just hasn't received it enough in those sort of areas. He's got to work harder to find space for himself, that's for sure. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Oh, great piece of individual skill. Now well, defending always has to be a team effort. Good piece of covering. Walker. Now with Alexander-Arnold. Alexander-Arnold. Declan Rice. Trippier. They do pass the ball with authority, but then the one that goes astray. Velkovic. And in possession, Milenkovic. Velkovic. Velkovic. 
Pavlovic. Ivan Ilic. Very quick thinking there. Kostic. Dusan Tadic. Milos Veljkovic. Alexander Mitrovic. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Bukayo Saka. 20 minutes to go. Foden. Declan Rice. Now Harry Kane. Bukayo Saka. Pass and move, pass and move. Their opponents really struggling to get a look in. Strong but fair tackle. Zivkovic. Really fine play to keep possession. Velkovic. Milos Velkovic. And in possession, Milenkovic. Well, they're certainly thinking about a winner. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Foden. And Kane comes into the move. Good-looking attack, this. Kane. Harry Kane and back to Bellingham and a chance now Alexander Arnold and that is that a full time whistle here and nothing to separate the two sides at all over 90 minutes it finishes nil nil Stuart your take well Derek I was expecting more from both teams you certainly can't criticise the effort but there was a real lack of creativity and goal neither side did enough to win the game well, truth be told, his influence on this game has been very limited. What have you made of his performance, Stuart? Well, he didn't have his best game, but he still had one or two good moments, enough to get his team a draw.